Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. Today I want to do a quick video with you on a trick that I think will be helpful with you for multiplying by units of 2. So let's take a look at this example. The first one I have is 5 times 2 equals an unknown. That's what that blank means. Remember, an unknown just means we don't know the number that's going to be in that part of our problem yet. But I say yet because we're going to figure it out. I'm going to show you a trick and hopefully it will be something that will help you to be able to multiply with units of 2. Okay, so let's check out this first example. So 5 times 2 equals blank. So remember the first number in your multiplication sentence is the number of groups. The second number is how many are in each group. So if I wanted to draw an array to go along with this, I would draw my five groups. So one group, two, three, four, five, and then there would be two in each group. That would what is what my array would look like for five times two. So now if I wanted to solve this using skip counting, because I want to skip count whenever I can, because that helps me. I just, I like to be able to kind of make fun when I'm doing my numbers, and skip counting is a fun thing for me to do. So if I wanted to be able to solve this problem using skip counting, which is the trick I would use today, um, is I'm going to count by two, because that's how many is in each group, and I'm going to count by two five times. So let's write that down. You guys want to skip count with me? Let's try it. Okay, ready? So we're going to count by twos. We're only going to go five times. So think about it as I want to go one time, two times, three times, four times, and then five times. Once I count two five times, I'm done because that's my problem, five times two. So here we go. Ready? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Wow, check that out, friends. You can also, oh, wait, so let's do that. So two if when I multiply 5 times 2, it's 10, okay? But let me show you another way you could do that. Instead of writing out each time, you know how many fingers this are, right? You have five fingers on one hand. So you could go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, okay? So you counted 10 or counted 5 times, so you get your 10. Let's look at another way or another problem. I'm going to leave that part right there for us. So let's say I wanted to do 3 times 2, okay? So if I wanted to do 3 times 2, I could just do 2, 4, 6, because I did it 3 times. So again, that would be 2, 4, 6. 1, 2, 3, okay? Because remember, that's where my groups are, and look, this 2 is where I'm starting my skip counting by, okay? So let's do another one. I think you guys might get the hang of this. This is what we're going to practice today for part of our fluency practice. So let's do four times two. So it would be, I'm going to go till I get four fingers up because I'm counting that two four times. So ready? Two, four, six, eight. So four times two equals eight. Okay, so I hope that's a good trick for you guys. Try it today while you're practicing your multiples of two pattern page. And please let me know if you guys have any questions. Have a great day, friends. See you soon.